Paperboy News here to deliver y'all that daily report. Now 600 spoke on that online beef between Break Baby and Spiffy. So let's get straight into it. Now 600 said as far as Biffy's and Break Baby's beef, it doesn't look good for either one of them. And he told Spiffy, you calling out gang members, but you are not an affiliate. Now 600 said he can remember a year ago, Spiffy was in the same type situation where he was getting into it with another gang member. And 600 said he tried to help him out, so he jumped in his DM and told them, what are you doing? You not like that, just focus on your music. Now according to 600, the only people that were tough in the hood were gang members, drug dealers, and the ones that be unaliving people. And the fact that that Spiffy wasn't a part of any of those categories. He finds it hilarious that when Spiffy finally has an opportunity to make it in the music industry as well as popping on social media, he tries to rewrite his history as a non-affiliate and tries to portray himself as a gangster. Then 600 said as far as Brick Baby goes, he be too extra out when he on social media cause every other word that comes out of his mouth is on 6-0, on 6-0. And he told Brick Baby if it's on 6-0 then how you gonna let a non-affiliate affiliate who you beefing with on social media pull up the crenshaw and slossy and call you out for your fate and you didn't show up then 600 said to make matters worse brick baby shows up hella late to another location then pulls his phone out and tells spiffy where you at and 600 said, you know damn well he been long gone. Now 600 said, allowing a civilian to pull up to our community and press one of our own members, that made our section, which is the Rolling 60s, look bad as well. And he said, despite Brick Baby with his rat allegations, at the end of the day, he still one of ours. Then 600 said, if you can remember watching all of these vlogs on the Rolling 60s, a bunch of these youngsters be saying that you can't come over here uninvited or you gonna get stripped down or something bad can happen to you. And he said, how are they gonna say that? But Spiffy, who's a non-affiliate, pulled up to our section and basically called one of our own out and nothing happened to him. And he even posted there all the way till nighttime and even got love from a couple of people from that section at that gas station. Then 600 says, whether or not Break Baby got internal beef with the Rolling 60s, at the end of the day, he's a Rolling 60. And when somebody else who's not from Rolling 60s got beef with him, we supposed to make sure that we handle that and then deal with Break Baby later. Now 600 said, this is how you could tell the Rolling 60s don't really got love for Break Baby. Cause had, Spiffy said something bad about somebody that mattered to the Rolling 60 community. He wouldn't even be able to pull up there. And if he was at that gas station vlogging, he'd have got checked right there and he wouldn't even have no video to upload. And now 600 said, when is Spiffy ever gonna learn? Because he did the same type situation before to another gang and he got put in the hospital. Now as far as 600 saying the Rolling 60s look bad by letting a non-affiliate pull up to their community and call out one of their own for a fade. You was in the same situation when Spiderlo from 97 East Coast Crib pulled up to your community and had reptables like Big U and a bunch of reptable young homies waiting up there for you to pull up there to not only catch fate with Spiderlo but them as well for always speaking bad about Rolling 60 politics as well as their big homies online. Now before 600 got into it with Big U it was 6 this and 6 that but it was like Brick Baby said ever since Big U punked them he got a vendetta against the hood but y'all like share and subscribe to the channel y'all let me know what y'all think down in that comment section paper boy no stand y'all be safe and stay dangerous out there Gown.